Hi there. My name is Rachel Bourne, and I'm one of the veterinarians at the Wisconsin Equine Clinic and Hospital, located in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. And today I would like to talk to you about first aid kits. Obviously, emergencies happen at the most inopportune times, and it's really great to be prepared for those times. We at Wisconsin Equine Clinic actually have created a first aid kit that we sell to our clients. The first aid kit that we sell contains a wide variety of products. None of them are prescription products. It's actually a kit that we can sell across state lines at this point in time. When you're out on a trail ride, when you're at the barn and something happens, it's great to have a variety of supplies on hand. Certain supplies that enable you to evaluate your horse, get an idea of the clinical condition of your horse, and then other supplies that will help you treat and take care of your horse. Obviously, one of the most important parts about having a first aid kit is knowing where it is. Oftentimes, you purchase it and don't need it for several years. Our first aid kit is in bright colors. It's bright orange color, so it's easy to find, even at night. Our first aid kit also has our contact information on the front, so in an emergency, it's, it, you don't want to be running around trying to figure out what your veterinarian's emergency phone number is, so making sure that you have that, have that easily accessible in your barn is a great idea. Our first aid kit also has the normal values for horses, so if you take your horse's temperature and listen to your horse's heart, you know what the normal value should be, so when you call your veterinarian, you can say what's abnormal and, and you and your veterinarian can have a conversation about what may be wrong with your horse. Another great thing to have in your barn is an emergency barn poster. This is a poster that we produced several years ago and actually give away free to our clients. It has some information again on what's normal for horses, the normal temperature, the normal heart rate, the normal respiratory rate. It also has a variety of conditions that, that you may see in your horse and you know that there's something wrong, but what does it mean? So you have the horse that's not eating, the horse that has a nasal discharge, what it could be, and things that you can do. In most situations, it's always a great idea to call your veterinarian. Call your veterinarian, discuss what's going on. They may or may not need to come out and take a look at your horse. So back to the first aid kit. One of the most important things to have in your first aid kit would be a stethoscope. You don't need to be a doctor, you don't need to be an expert to try and, and listen to your horse's heart. I would definitely recommend you have your veterinarian show you the appropriate location for listening to your horse's heart. The horse's normal heart rate is between about 36 and 44 beats per minute. And it just takes a little bit of practice, so I'd recommend you listen to your horse's heart when they're healthy, then you know what's normal. Another thing that you can use the stethoscope for is, is to listen to your horse's intestinal sounds. Obviously, there's times where you can hear the intestinal sounds from across the room. You know your horse is healthy at that point. But sometimes when they show some signs of colic, you may not be able to hear the sounds that well. Having a stethoscope may enable to hit you to hear them a little bit better. Another important tool to have is a thermometer. Rectal temperatures are how we measure temperature in horses. We don't have the ability to take the temperature in the ear like they do in people. You can go to your local drugstore and pick up a, a children's thermometer. That will be completely adequate. We use the digital thermometers. They're very easy to read. Just make sure that you take the temperature safely. In another video, we will show you how to take a rectal temperature on a horse. The normal temperature for horses is somewhere between about 99 and 101 Fahrenheit. If your horse's temperature is over 101 and a half, we typically consider that a fever. Another really great thing to have in a first aid kit is a handy flashlight. And a handy flashlight whose batteries are good. Emergencies tend to happen again at night, and you know, if your horse has an injury or a wound or a swelling, it's a good idea that to be able to see it well so you can describe it to your veterinarian. In our first aid kit, we also have sterile saline. This is very safe. It doesn't contain any other products other than saline. This is something great to have on hand to clean up wounds. People will use it to flush out their horse's eye. If the saline becomes contaminated, we certainly don't recommend you use it in those situations, but having a fresh bottle is always a great idea. Another great thing to have on hand, especially if your horse suffers some kind of wound, is some kind of ointment. 
If your horse has suffered a deep wound or the wound is excessively bleeding, obviously you need to call your veterinarian. But if they have some minor superficial scrapes and abrasions, something like iodine ointment would be appropriate to put on those injuries. Other types of ointment you can purchase, one is just a regular triple antibiotic ointment that you can buy from your local drugstore. Another type of ointment that can be used is chlorhexidine-based ointments. Those have usually a blue color to them. Having a supply of clean gloves is also a great idea. If you have a wound that you need to look at so that you can describe it better to your veterinarian, you don't want to use your dirty hands to touch the wound, so I would place clean gloves on. Other times that you may need to use gloves is when applying eye ointments to a horse's eye as you don't want to also be putting your dirty fingers in your horse's eye. If you're applying products such as the iodine ointment, again, it's great to keep them off of your skin. We all know horses. Horses tend to injure their legs. Obviously, the legs are very important to the horse. At some point, you may need to apply a bandage to your horse's leg, and our first aid kit comes with a variety of bandage material. When we have a wound or a small cut on a horse's leg, one of the things that we're going to start with is a Telfa pad. A Telfa pad is what we call a non-stick pad. It's a pad that you can apply to an injury and it won't stick to the wound so it's not painful when you remove it. You can apply your ointment to the Telfa pad and then hold the Telfa pad in place with one of these clean gauzes. We call these clings, but you can go to your drugstore and buy a regular gauze. Put the telf pad on and then wrap this around the wound. Over the top of that, you want to place some kind of support wrap. We have these sheet cottons. In your barn, you may have quilts and polar wraps, which work just as well. Just make sure that they're clean. These, these sheet cottons will go on over the wound. It applies some pressure to the leg. This will help with any swelling that may form in the leg and it will also keep the entire leg clean. And you can hold these in place with a brown gauze. If you don't have a brown gauze, vet wrap is great. And you can purchase vet wrap from a variety of locations around the country. Now there's lots of horses that like to try and chew their bandages off. A great way to stop this is to purchase what we call elasticon. This is a type of tape that sticks not only to the bandage, but also to the hair. But it's also easy to remove, kind of like a band-aid in people. It doesn't seem like it hurts the horses that much and it doesn't pull a lot of the hair off. But if you put this at the top of your sheet cotton, wrap it around the top, and then wrap it around the bottom, it pre prevents the horse, it prevents most horses from actually taking the bandage off. Some Houdinis can always get the bandage off still. If you do have a wound on your horse's leg, having something to clean that wound is great. Before we talked about iodine ointment, this is thick and you'll apply this to injuries, but we also have betadine scrub and betadine solution these are both products that you can use to clean a wound. And these you would put in some water and, and apply that to the wound to clean it. Another great thing to have in your first aid kit is Epsom salts. Uh, we know that horses suffer from foot abscesses and foot bruises. You can put Epsom salts in warm water to allow you to soak your horse's foot. The other thing that you can use for the same reason is these, these poultice pads. You can apply, if your horses are very good at having its foot soaked, you can apply the poultice pad to the bottom of the foot and then hold that in place with either some vet wrap or some duct tape. Another thing that we have in our first aid kit is one of these instant ice packs. If you're out on the trails, you don't have access to ice very readily. And this is one of those ice packs that you turn on and it starts cooling down and you get probably three to four hours of good cold therapy. This would be important if your horse all of a sudden maybe pulls a tendon or shows some kind of swelling in the leg that's new, and especially if that area is painful or the horse is lame. We also like to put a first aid book in our first aid kit. This gives you an idea of a variety of diseases that may affect your horse. It gives you what the clinical signs will be, and it also tells you how you may be able to manage those when you're potentially away from a phone or not close to your veterinarian until you can get your horse seen by a medical specialist. Having some kind of bandage scissors, also to remove bandages, remove any kind of tourniquet that you may need to apply to your horse's leg, another good idea. 
So that's a kit that we sell. None of these products are prescription products. These are all products that you can either put together in a kit for yourself. We sell this kit as a whole. Um, it's been a very successful product that we have sold. There may be some other products that you would like to add to your first aid kit. And these would be prescription products, medications and supplies that you need to get from your veterinarian. The types of products that people like to have on hand, two of them would be products like Butte and Vanamine. These are anti-inflammatory, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory products that you need to purchase from your vet and you need to have dosing information from your vet prior to using them. These are good for horses that have fevers, horses that have swellings, horses that have swollen eyes. But again, please call your veterinarian prior to using them. Another product that a lot of our clients like to keep on hand is some kind of antibiotic. This is a type of antibiotic that's very commonly used and it's very safe to use. Again, dosage instructions need to come from your regular veterinarian. But it's nice to have on hand um, for a variety of situations where an antibiotic may be warranted. Another product that's great to have on hand is an antibiotic eye ointment. These are products that you can get, again, from your veterinarian. You cannot buy them over the counter. This is one that we call triple antibiotic. This is not the same kind of antibiotic that you would put on the skin of a horse. This is a specific ophthalmic preparation. But again, if your horse has an eye problem, you may want to call your vet, and if they ask you, do you have any eye ointment, this would be great to have on hand. If, it ex if it's expired, if it's dirty, I would recommend you throw it away. So thank you for listening to my presentation. I've shown you a lot of supplies that would be very handy for you to keep in your barn. For more information on our first aid kit and possibly purchasing the first aid kit, please call the Wisconsin Equine Clinic and Hospital. For those of you living in southeast Wisconsin, we actually give demonstrations and, and will come and give presentations to local groups, 4-H groups, pony club groups, on emergency care for your horse, and again, how to use most of these supplies. So please, if you have any questions, feel free to call. Thank you.